Now, question 1C from the May 2017 CSEC Maths Pass paper is another consumer arithmetic question. All right. So, let's go. John's monthly electricity bill is based on a num on the number of KWH that's kilowatt hours of electricity that he consumes for that month. Okay, no problem. He is charged five dollars ten cents per kilowatt hour of electricity consumed for the month of March twenty sixteen. The two meters, the two meter readings are displayed in the table below on March 1 okay you had 03011 that's 3011 kilowatt hours and the end of the month March 31 you had 3307 you must calculate the total amount that John pays for electricity consumption for the month of March all right, so I want you to pause the video and finish this and come back. All right, you've done that. So, hope you're finished and got everything right. 3,011 kilowatt hours. And he, then he, that, that's March 1. March 31, the end of the month, 3307. What we want to do is find out how much he used. So we're going to have to have 3307 kilowatt hours and take 3011 from that. Right? So you can work it out. I want you to work it out by hand, although, well, it's good to work it out by, be able to work it out by hand, but in the exam, you probably need to move a bit faster by using a calculator. When you work it out, you should get 296, that's 296 kilowatt hours that you use, all right? Now, here, they say that he is charged $5.10 per kilowatt hour. So for every kilowatt hour that he uses, he must pay $5.10. And he used 296 kilowatt hours. So we continue here. If you have 296 kilowatt hours and he is charged five dollar ten cents each it mean you must multiply this 296 kilowatt hours by 5.10 five dollars ten cents so you multiply that and what you should get when you multiply it what you get is 1509.6 one thousand five hundred and nine dollars 60 cents all right so total amount that john pays for electricity consumption during the month of march according to our working it is one thousand five hundred and nine dollars and sixty cents no part two for the next month April 2016, John pays $2,351.10 for electricity consumption. Determine his meter reading at the end of April 2016. Alright, we have a problem. We only know how much he is charged for, for April. We don't know how many kilowatt hours he uses. But then, that problem, we can solve that problem, man. We can solve the problem. 
suppose we say the 2000 we start working from here the 2000 251 dollars and 10 cents if they say that he is charged five dollars ten cents per kilowatt hour is like you're saying suppose they charge him five dollars ten cents for april how many kilowatt hour that you use whether well, you use only one kilowatt hour but suppose they say they charge him ten dollar twenty for april how many kilowatt hour you think he use two and then you would say the ten dollars twenty divided by five dollars ten cent would give you the two you don't see that so what that suggests is that you would divide the money by the five dollar ten cent and the money here is not ten dollar twenty it is twenty three fifty one dollar ten cents so you would take the money that he is charged and divide by five dollar ten cent all right so use a calculator and do that two three fifty one dollar and ten cents divided by five point one zero equal what you get tell me what you get you get four hundred and sixty one dollar right that's what you get all right four sixty one dollars are not dollars not dollars four sixty one kilowatt hours of electricity now that is the amount that him used in april but the question did not ask how much him used in april what they asked determine his meter reading at the end of april so what this mean now you know is that you're going to assume that on april 1 this is the same all right nobody really come to radio meter at 12 midnight although technology can do that nowadays because a computer could um read your meter at midnight 3307 so that come one second later you did not use any electricity so you have 3307 all right so we assume that on april 1 this is the same reading that you have on march 31 so we have 3307 all right same reading on april 1 All right, good. And then the end of April, you use 461 more. That is the gist of it, you know. This is the end of March. You assume that is the same reading, the 3307, at the beginning of April. And then from then on, that is where I'm use up the six the four sixty one. So you must now add the four sixty one to the three three oh seven. Seven one one eight six and zero six four and three seven and bring down the three three and zero three. So that would mean that the reading on his meter is 3,768 kilowatt hour. All right, good. So, any comments, leave them, and we discuss them later.